Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. The theme of my YouTube channel is to encourage amateur radio operators to take their radios outdoors, set up a temporary station, and make contacts with other amateur radio stations. Setting up an outdoor station takes a fair amount of work and expertise. I know from comments I have received that many people who watch my videos are physically unable to do this sort of activity, but they enjoy watching. Recently, I posted a video in which I mentioned it is an honor for me to do these videos so others not so fortunate can live vicariously through my activities. I received a comment from a man named Danny, a Wisconsinite. Here is what Danny wrote in his comment. Hi, my name is Danny. I am disabled and just getting back into ham radio. Watching you and others have got me back into portable work. I broke my neck in 2008 and have only been able to work at home on the radio until now. With help, I will be setting up a station at a local park. I'm sure this will be a good outing for me. Thanks for all you guys do. I will not live through you guys. I will get out and on the air. When I asked Danny for more details about his story, he passed along the following information. Danny was a physically fit man who built himself a successful independent business. Just when he thought he had everything he could possibly hope for, tragedy struck. In 2008, Danny experienced a grim household accident. The misfortune left him with multiple serious issues, including brain damage and a spinal cord injury. Danny had to learn how to do everything again, including learning how to breathe. Some days he can't even get out of bed. He cannot walk without a brace. Danny's memory comes and goes, meaning he has to continually practice many tasks that the rest of us do without thinking. For Danny, his dream of getting to a local park with help and operating an HF radio station represented a daunting but rewarding task. In an initial attempt to go HF portable, Danny set up a station in his backyard shed. Let's take a look at how that went for him. The United States, you know, east to west, you know, I would say, I would say 1,400, 1,500 miles or something like that, Dan. Wow, that's just amazing. And I, I'm actually recording this now, if it's all right with you, just to show my family, but I'm running five watts of power, and I can't believe we're talking, and you, you are just booming in here. It's just like you're sitting right next to me. I can't believe it. And I'm actually on a little 12 amp hour AGM battery, and that's it, running five watts with the X108G um, QRP HF transceiver and an EdFed MFJ uh, 10 through 40 meter wire. That's it. Over. <laughs> yeah, so probably that, what that MFJ uh, antenna, they probably put a, a 9 to 1, a 9 to 1 uh, on, on or something uh, balance at the end of that, it, I, that's what I'm assuming. I, I don't know if that's true, but... What are you using, a, like a, lead, a small lead-acid uh, battery? Dan, is that what you're using? Just a regular 12 uh, amp hour, 12 volt uh, AGM lead-acid battery. Um, you know, something you can pick up at Batteries Plus. That's all I'm using right now. Uh, not even a high-quality battery. Um, and it's actually not a nine to one on on. It's uh, it's something else, um, but it is not an on on. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to use a half wave. It's actually a half wave uh, forty meter antenna. On the end, uh, they used uh, I think it's a seven to one balance to get it to match up on all the bands. Over. Yeah. Okay. Well, half wave. You think it's. Uh you know, the antennas would be, uh, the feed point antennas would be low. So, yeah, it's probably, maybe it's only a, a one to one, just. I can't believe it. Or a, um, a two to one or something. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind if you make a recording, that's fine with me. So, um, yeah, I'm glad you're having a good time with it. And, uh, making you a day. 
Yeah, this is awesome. I'm having a good time. It's raining here. We had bad storms. I was actually going to go set up in a park down the street, but it's been raining all day, and we had some huge lightning storms come through last night, and I just didn't want to uh, take a chance on being stuck uh, with lightning all around me. At least here I can just pull the plug out in the backyard and, and um you know, do that, but I, I did put up a temporary antenna. I'm not using anything from my house, no electricity, nothing. Uh, I just put an end fed wire up on a, about a, I don't know, 30 foot mast sloping down. Uh, actually, uh, it's probably why I'm getting you so good because it's sloping down towards the west. So that's probably why we're uh, talking so well, over. Yeah, well, you're consistent too. You're, right now, your your average signal strength about F7. F7. So how how high is the long wire, uh, Dan? How how high is it? Did you say seven? Yeah, tourism. Yeah, I know it's just. We're still talking. It's been twenty. Almost twenty-five minutes. And we're still talking. On a wire antenna. And fed. I'll show you in a minute. Last summer, Danny made his first trip to the park. Let's take a look at Danny's first HF portable operation since his accident. X ray Charlie Kilo QRP portable battery power. Okay, November 9, X ray Charlie Got it. Kilo It's up there somewhere. Okay, very good. Uh, the name here is Dan, Delta, Alpha, November. Uh, Dan, I am located in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha, Wisconsin, which is far south and as far east as you can go in the state. Uh, right on the shores of Lake Michigan here, uh, in between Chicago and Milwaukee. I'm running QRP Portable in a park uh, in the city here, trying out my uh, emergency QRP station. Over. Okay, I'm running five watts, five whiskey. Five whiskey is the power I'm running into an N-fed wire antenna. Uh, can I get your call sign? I've got your name, but I don't have your call sign. I've got a lot of uh, QRN here on this end. Yep, no problem. Uh, my uh, call is whiskey alpha three bravo mike. I'm located here in Lawrence, Pennsylvania, like the planet mark, 20 miles north of six point over. Roger, I used to work there. I was a police officer out there, so I'm very familiar with it. I used to work in Mars for uh, for a while there. That was one of my areas. Uh, also, Pittsburgh and uh, Butler County and uh, Newcastle. I worked in that entire area. Over. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm uh, glad to have uh, talked to you. Normally I cannot hear uh, East cars in my area, uh, so it's a rare treat for me to uh, to hear you guys. So we'll say 73s and I'll let you pick up the rest. Thank you very much. November 9, X-Ray Charlie Kilo. Uh, 73s, uh, Bernie. All right, there, Dan. Nice to meet you for the first time. Take care of yourself, buddy. November 9, X-Ray Charlie Kilo. Gulf November is also hearing me in Connecticut. Roger, Roger, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, 73 is talk to you guys later. WB3BM, November 9, X ray Charlie Kilo. Or excuse me, WA3 uh, Bravo Mike, November 9, X ray Charlie Kilo. Danny made several contacts that day. His outing was a complete success, and it won't be his last. He is already looking forward to his next trip to the park. 
People like Danny are the ones who remind me of all the blessings I have. His example helps me as I attempt to make the most of each day. It's my hope this video will also help to inspire those who, like Danny, face serious physical challenges. Perhaps you too might work towards such a goal. Thank you, Danny, for sharing your story and success. Finally, if you know of a ham who has succeeded in overcoming personal adversity, reach out to me. I'd be interested in learning more and possibly sharing that person's story. As always, thank you very much for watching. 73 from Tracy, VE3TWM.